Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. So much like a lot of horror fans who like a good deal on Blu-rays and DVDs, I went ahead and purchased from Scream Factory for their Shocktober sale. Uh, obviously, that was in October. Uh, they had some really great deals. I usually just buy through uh, Diabolic DVD, which I will have another video of an unboxing from some more stuff I purchased from Diabolic. But um, when the deals were directly through Scream Factory and they were really good, when I looked at them, I was like, I, I can't pass this up. Uh, even so much so that I went through and I looked at everything that was on sale, put a ton of stuff into my cart, and then took a look at it and said, yeah, I don't think I should buy this much right now. So then I took a little bit of time to whittle it down, which, by the way, was not easy. Uh, so I think I ended up throwing out like three, uh, between three and five things, I can't remember exactly, uh, that I ended up not getting because they were lesser favorites or cost a little bit more than the other things. So, oh, I like that they're doing like their own little packing paper. That's cool. That's the first time I've seen that from them. Uh, they pack it well. They have one of these on each side of it to kind of insulate it really well. Come on. What the, all right, whatever. Anyway, so some of the Blu-rays you're going to see here, you'll be like, what, you don't own that yet? And no, I don't, because for a long time I tried not to get physical media because I had a stint of time where I was getting a lot, purchasing a ton, uh, and then I kind of got away from that and just kind of focused on streaming. But now I'm back into it, and I'm like, I need to buy these films that I really love on Blu-ray. So the first one being The Return of the Living Dead. Oh, yes. Um, this is actually one I hadn't seen for a long, long time and then watched it for the first time, I think, last year, maybe? Last year, maybe, or, or the year before that. Time just, you know, all meshes together. But wonderful, wonderful film. 100% worth owning. Uh, I don't remember the... Actually, I might have the prices in here. Nope. No prices in there. Never mind. I was going to say, maybe I, uh, I, maybe I do have the prices. No, I don't. But anyway, um, the deals were good. You know, you would think newer Blu-rays, you're usually spending around 20 bucks. Every single one of these I'm going to show you was under 20 bucks. One of them was like 9 bucks. I remember that specifically because it was such a good deal. But this was one of the ones, probably around 12 or $13. Pretty nice. And it's a great film. So excited to dig back into that one. I, already, uh, I have a review of it on my channel, by the way. I have a review on my channel and a playlist for them for the first three Return of the Living Dead films. The next one I got is probably my favorite John Carpenter film, The Fog. I, well, okay. Other than The Thing. Obviously, The Thing is my favorite and the best. Um, but that's like everyone's favorite and the best. So other than that, The Fog is probably my favorite. I love The Fog. When I saw that this was there, once again, probably you know, twelve or thirteen dollars, I was like, "This is a must." I think this is actually gonna be out of print, if I'm not mistaken, but I might be mistaken. I don't know. But the fog, it's got a good, it's got a good uh, cover. Um, a December classic, Black Christmas. Now, this is another film, wonderful, wonderful film, very, very early slasher. A lot of people say it's the very first slasher film. Um, that's up for debate with a lot of people. But there's no denying that this is an outstanding slasher film that holds up over time. Uh, I hadn't seen it. I saw it for the first time a few years ago. Sadly to say, the first version of Black Christmas I saw was the first remake that was done. And I saw it in the theater, but that was back, you know, don't. Don't hate me for that. That was back when I wasn't really into horror that much. I just went with some friends to the theater and saw it and was like, eh. And then I found out about this much later. And when I saw it, was like, oh my gosh, this is outstanding. That remake is, ugh. And then I haven't seen the most re recent remake. But I haven't really heard anything good. The best I've heard is, it's okay. So, I don't know. Probably not going to check it out. The next one was, oh, once again, this was probably like 12 13 I think all of them were about 12 or $13, except for the one that was about $9. Um, so this next one is potentially my favorite zombie film, Day of the Dead by George A. Romero. Love this film so much. Uh, the the whole bub thing in it, the the feeling kind of sentient zombie is a, 
is a wonderful thing in this film. And I think that's one of the reasons I love it so much. That and the gore effects are unbelievably good uh, with Tom Savini. And Nicotero, I believe, worked on that as well. But yeah, wonderful. Can't wait to watch this again. It's been a while. It's probably been three years or so since I last saw Day of the Dead. So I'm excited to dig back into that. So I mentioned the, th the Thing, and I went ahead and purchased the Blu-ray of The Thing because I own it on DVD. So when I was on there and I saw it was on sale, I was like, I mean, I should, really, I should upgrade. Because here's the thing. If Here's the thing. If you're going to watch The Thing, why not watch it in high definition because everything's going to look that much better. It is a phenomenal visual film, as we all know. So... I just can't imagine how crisp and wonderful this is going to look in comparison to that DVD I've been watching. So very excited to get into this one for that reason. I also I have a uh, review of the thing on my channel, just so you know. And then the last one, this was the one that was like nine bucks, and I saw it and I'm like, like nine bucks? Are you kidding me? That's a must, uh, and I don't own it already, and that is Candyman. Really great film. Once again, this is one I haven't seen for quite a while. Maybe like five years or so since I watched this one. So excited to get back into this. I love Tony Todd in general, but his performance in this obviously is wonderful. He's one of the most iconic villains of his time. That voice and just the way he plays Candyman. So good. So really looking forward to digging into that one. So that is it. I went with uh, six. I thought about doing nine at one point, but then I was just like, when I looked at the the total, I was like, uh. but then now I like, I regret some of the stuff that I passed on. Like, I can't remember all the stuff I passed on, but one of the ones I definitely remember passing on was the, the 13 Ghosts film, the one with um, Tony Shalhoub, uh, Shannon Elizabeth, and um, Matthew Lillard. I love that. Like, it, it's not like a phenomenal or great film, but for me, it's one of those kind of like guilty pleasures. It's a lot of fun type films. So I remember having that one, and then I got rid of it last minute. I can't remember any any of the other ones. But this right here whoop, is a nice haul. That's a very nice haul. Love it. So let me, uh, let me hear from you guys. Are you excited about any of these? I mean, excited for me, basically. But I also really want to know, did any of you take advantage of that Shocktober sale? And if so, what did you purchase? Or if you purchased so much you don't want to type all of it up, just tell me your favorite one or two that you got. So, yeah. And then also, are you looking for any in per any particular Blu-rays coming out that you hope are on sale for, like, Black Friday? I don't know. I'm interested in looking at Vinegar Syndrome and Severin to see what they have available might peek in at Scream Factory again because of 13 Ghosts and everything. And I'll obviously be looking at Diabolic DVD as I usually do. And like I said, there's going to be another Diabolic DVD unboxing video coming out probably the week after this. Um, so you can look for that. But this is a great haul. I love what Scream Factory does. And uh, yeah. But uh, do me a quick favor. Hit that subscribe button if you can do that for me. I would greatly appreciate it. And I would say you can do it for me because it literally takes you a second and it's totally painless, and you're not paying money or anything like that. You're just showing me a little bit of gratitude, which I appreciate. Um, also hit the notification bell, and that way you'll know whenever I'm putting up a new unboxing video or a movie review or doing a live stream or any of that jazz. I appreciate it. But anyway, thanks for taking your time to check this out. And until next time, keep it brutal.